Penn State gets a commit at defensive end in the class 2023. I'm Thomas Frank Carr, breaking news here on YouTube. And as always, when there's breaking recruiting news, the guy we turn to is the guy that knows everything about all of these players, <laughs> and that is Ryan Snyder. The latest Nittany Lion is... Mason Robinson, which I want to give myself a little pat on the bat for. Saw that one coming a couple of days ago. Uh, now, actually, I'm going to say this. I was, I've been on Mason for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, well before he put out this senior film that impressed everybody. And I'm not, this isn't me. This is coming from Penn State people. Penn State's been on Mason for a long time. Before he put up 80 plus tackles this year, was it nine sacks, 15 tackles for loss? I mean, he had a massive senior year. I went and saw him play last year against LaSalle and Abdul Carter. And Abdul Carter was the best player on the field that day, but Mason Robinson was not that far behind. And, and guess who was also on the field that day? Deny Dennis Sutton. Yep. So I, I want to make it, I, I, that's not knocking Deny. Of course, Penn State fans know what Deny is all about. But Mason Mason's just a very smart player. And I know you're going to break that down a little bit here. Uh, so I can't I'll, wait. I'll, <laughs> I know. I'll, let me get to the background here. I think, I think Penn State fans should be familiar with Mason by now. Go back to the springtime. We were all... Looking at Mason, I was totally expecting Mason to end up at Penn State. He goes on this official visit to Northwestern and commits. And it, it shocked pretty much all of us. I mean, I know it shocked people in last, too. I mean, they were not expecting that. Uh, ends up, of course, committing to Northwestern. Stays with Northwestern throughout the entire season. And then we started catching word here in the last, uh, I don't know, week or so that that commitment may not be very firm anymore. Of course, uh, Pat Fitzgerald dropped his defensive line coach. He dropped his defensive coordinator. That's a major part of that. Uh, yeah. So we started hearing in the last couple of days that he's probably not going to end up at Northwestern. And then once I learned that Penn State went to, his, uh, went to McDonough on, I believe it was this past Tuesday. So it was at December 6th, I want to say. Uh, they do an in-school visit with him there. Then they do an in-home visit with him that evening. I believe it was Dex was the one who did the in-school visit. And then Scott flew up and did the in-home visit that night. That was a big that was a big moment in this. And once that official visit got locked in, I just everything was pointing to Penn State here. I, I know Virginia Tech was trying to make a late push uh, with him, but I mean this has just been a this is okay. I, I haven't even brought up the fact that McDonough and, and the history with McDonough yet, right? Right. But this this has just been a one that has been pointing to Penn State. I, I don't want to say for a long time because of course he was committed to Northwestern, but it just always made sense that he would end up at Penn State. And, of course, here he is now. So Penn State eventually gets him. As I said, his season, his senior season film is incredibly impressive. I, Deny was hurt last year, and I don't I don't want to put too much stock or, or too much hype into Mason right now. But if you look at Deny's film and you look at Mason's film right now, I would have to lean towards Mason Robinson a little bit uh, as far as the film that impressed me the most. And, again, I'm not saying he's a better prospect than Deny, uh, but I just think I just think someone's been kind of slept on a little bit. And if you look at his own 3 rating and at 86 right now, I think that's been slept on a little bit. Uh, that, that's certainly a, a, something I, that I've already sent to our guys at Charles Power and them to, to take another look at. So uh, I think there's a lot of reason for Penn State fans to be excited about Mason Robinson. And I know people on Lash are excited about this because they wanted him a while back. Then he has a great season. Now they end up getting their guy. And, hey, they keep the McDonough Street rolling. Yeah, yeah. There, there's, so, there's so many different interesting avenues to go down off of what you just said. But one of them that I think that you and I both and Sean Fitz were all very high on is Mason is a perfect fit for Penn State from a culture perspective as well incredibly intelligent player and person um, and also, you know, great family atmosphere. And one of the, Ryan, one of the things that I'm happy for is that Penn State fans were pretty mad at me this spring because oh, we had a couple of players on for the class of 2023 here on the BWI Daily Edition on the YouTube channel. One of them was Rodney Gallagher, commits to West Virginia. The other one was Mason Robinson, who committed to Northwestern. So mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm not the bugaboo. I am not the the uh, the jinx for the class of 23 that it seems like. So it seems like there's only only Gallagher is going to stay at West Virginia at this point. But uh, yeah, Mason Robinson going to Penn State. It, you're right. It, from a lot of angles, it feels like that fits very well. Um any other interesting angles from this? I, I, you know, I know that the the coaching staff was very important to him, but um, anything other interesting tidbits or nuggets that came out of this during uh, what you've been digging it, on it? It moved really quick. I, so there, I don't have a ton. You know, I'm still wait. I still got to catch up with Mason. I have a lot to catch up with Mason about. Uh, I, you know, I know I know the education part with the Northwestern had a big hand in it. Uh, maybe what what they could do with NIL and in the Chicago area back in May that had a big hand in it, but. 
uh, just this the, the kind of season that, that Northwestern had, and then of course they, they let go of those coaches. Penn State was the the natural the natural fit for Mason, so I, I still have to catch up with him, and 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 as we do that, of course, in the coming days, we'll we'll have a lot more to, to talk about. But uh, hey, just Penn State got their guy; they keep the McDonough streak going. I think that's that is, those are the two main things to know. Uh, and and Mason Robinson, I'm not saying he's going to come in here and play instantly, but he's such a smart player that there's yeah. a lot to like from that perspective, and and just the physical growth too. I mean, when I saw him, he was like 215, 220. He's I mean, his coach says Akeem Sully, He says he's up to two thirty five now. I have him. I have him on his profile at six three two thirty. Uh, but he, he's put on some really good uh, muscle and just looks great physically. I'll be curious to see how he does here on the first year or two on campus. And that is a perfect segue to show you um, the the transformation. And I can't believe when I opened the, these highlights up the other day, and I haven't watched any full film yet, but I watched a lot of his film from his junior season in preparation for when I got to talk to him um, on the show. And you're right, intelligence, understanding of what's going on on the football field, he is a high-level, high-intelligence player. Here are his junior film highlights. Watch the way he gets off the ball. He dips under the tackle, the effort, the chase, the hustle. All these plays, and this is pretty indicative, he's a guy that whose highlight film matches his down-to-down -down play. So that's why, like, going into this, I feel very confident about what we're going to show you on his uh, senior film. But you see his hand usage, his ability to pass rush. His dad's a former NFL player, is what he told me. So he's got great, not only does he have great uh, genes in terms of his ability to play the game, but also the understanding and just being a football player. The tenacity, the the intensity, the get off. These are his junior season highlights. Here's him as a senior. And you mentioned Abdul Carter. The physical difference in his ability to play the game is like Abdul Carter's mental change from his junior to senior season. We saw all of the abilities from a physical, from a, from a positional standpoint, as a uh, at, oh, <laughs> that hit. That oh, hit. That's hit. I love that. Hit. I know it's unblocked, but the, like that's what I'm talking. Like the get off, the violence, the pad level. He dominates on all of these plays. I watched five minutes of his seven minute highlight film, and you and I were talking. Like they're all the same. They're all mm -hmm. him completely winning as a football player, and now that he has the athleticism and the strength to match what he was doing previously, watch the way he chases this guy down in the flat. Last season, that was an ankle tackle. Now he's bringing that guy down by the shoulder pads. That's a huge difference in pop, athleticism, and, you know, the violence in his hands. All these things, I, I'm gushing about how good of, a, good of a football player he is because this is all right. The way he stabs with the arm and keeps his other arm free and goes and swats at the ball and gets the sack. These little details are what you're, what you're talking about when you say, like, his film, you put it up against just about anybody in the class. So as a, as a three-star, definitely slept on and underrated, but that's because he put in so much work in the weight room, and that was one of the things that he, he – it was clearly a sensitive topic when we talked, but it was something that he was clearly determined that he was going to change and fix. And uh, he did. So that was my biggest question about him coming into this was – was he was he going to be physically able to do these things? Now, six foot three, two hundred and thirty pounds, a great football player. What is the ceiling with Mason Robinson? But that's the only question to me. The floor is he's going to be a productive contributor at defensive end for the Nittany Lions. And with that size right now, you know, Manny Diaz loves the zone drop. He loves dropping defensive ends into coverage. So they need to have that flexibility. I think he's got the athleticism to do that, and he has the technique, and now he has the burst off the edge to be a defensive end in the rotation that is productive. How much more productive productive can he be? Can he match the other guys you talked about in terms of his ceiling and his profile that have come from McDonough? That's to be determined. But Penn State gets a win by flipping Mason Robinson here. You got anything else for us? To, yeah, I'm trying to find his old numbers here. I know, so I know he can't to Penn State. I think it's two summers ago now. So we're talking about a sophomore going into junior year. And at the time, I thought he had, thought he had it um, just under a nine foot broad, which is which is pretty good from an explosion standpoint. I want to say it was like an eight nine, something like that. And again, we're talking about two years ago. So I just, I, my where I'm going with this is, I'd I'd love to know what his numbers are now. Uh, yeah. I, believe, I believe we, I, I believe we ran something like a four-seven shuttle again. Sophomore going into junior year, that that is that a four-five now? I mean, from what we're seeing on film, there there looks to be a lot of improvement there. I don't believe he ran a forty at Penn State. I remember that being something that Penn State wanted to learn more about. Uh, and I remember Rob Mason kind of being coy about like I, I think he was 
clearly just trying to improve on his 40 times yeah. at, at the time. I remember talking yeah. about that. But but I mean he he put up my point here is he put up some good numbers when he was young, had had good progression on the field, you know, saw a lot there. But my God, I mean, what he showed this season, <laughs> I, I think Penn State fans need to be really excited here. And I need to get in touch with Charles Power because this is a guy who I think we have underrated right now. And and and, and in fairness to Charles, he's he's trying to watch like a thousand kids right now and in the transfer yeah. portal and all that stuff. So these these guys are gonna fall through the cracks. Uh and I think Mason Robinson is one of them. Yeah, it just I'm gonna put on my amateur kinesiologist hat right now, um, and I, I can I can play one on the internet because my wife is a uh, strength and conditioning coach. the The lean mass he's put on is the is how you can tell because he's gotten faster and bigger. And this is what James Franklin and uh, Chuck Losey all talk about is putting on good weight. So he didn't just pack on weight to get big to be de- a defensive end. You know, we've seen that from some players that think they need to be a certain size. He put on 15 pounds, if if all the numbers match up, 15 pounds of lean muscle mass in the last year. So he knows how to work in the weight room. He knows how to get bigger and stronger. He just needs to continue all those things. Like the DNA, the building blocks of a great football player, painfully obvious. I love that. It makes my job easier, and I bet it makes James Franklin and John Scott Jr. feel better knowing they've got a player like that in the class of 2023 with all the upside plays that they have on the defensive line because they've got a lot of guys that have sky-high potential, but possibly, you know, you don't know where they're going to land in terms of their developmental curve. So a good addition, and I think a balanced one for the class of 2023. Ryan Snyder with us here, breaking the news of Mason Robinson joining the Nittany Lions. Thanks so much, Ryan. Anytime. So just a reminder, like the video, subscribe to Blue White Illustrated here on YouTube and bluewhiteillustrated.com so you don't miss any of the news from Penn State football. Uh, We're heading into the craziest time of the year. Not to not to be a jinx again, but maybe there's a decommitment. We're going to have breaking news when that happens, too. All that information in December coming to you here on the YouTube channel. So, So subscribe so you don't miss anything.